just finished up day one at Anaheim. How'd you do today? Uh, <laughs> I did, um, I, I won game one. It was a mirror match with Carnage and I went second. And then game two, I lost to, uh, oh wait, I'm gonna go pee. Can you pause? Uh, can you hold my hand? There you go. Okay, so um, game, round two, I lost to um, Lutetia, played it out. I mean, I was at four damage that was all face down and I couldn't take a fifth one. Um, and I would have won if I was able to use even Fate, Fate Rider or Next Stage. I just needed like an extra attack with like big number uh, and no counter blast. So I, could, I was able to stride, but I wasn't able to get any skills off. So I just, you know, couldn't put enough pressure on, lost fair score. And then game three, it was against a fan. Um, um, he used Minerva and just, Played it out. I, I think I almost had him, but there was one turn where he swung with a bunch of big numbers, um, and I PG'd his first Vanguard attack, which had the twin drive but less power, because I think I was like a 5k short, which sucks. I didn't want him to get an OT when I could have made it two to pass. So I was like, okay, I'll make it one or no pass on the on the single drive, but I'll do PG on the twin drive. So in case he gets an OT, he can't break through. And of course that my math got fucked up. And so I lost uh, on his second Vanguard attack. I was at four and I was like, I can afford to hit. And he got a crit and I was like, oh, well, okay. I was banking on an OT basically to save me. Um, and then yeah, I dropped and played Shadowverse for a while and uh, then tested out Steam Maidens because I'm going to use that tomorrow for premium. So we'll see how that goes. And that's a clock wipe to day two. That's Hollywood. Shut up. All right, Jose. What are you playing today? Dimension Police. Why? <laughs> when was the last time you came to one of these events? Five years ago. It's been a while. I'm coming in to win today. <laughs> Miles, what are you playing today? Yo, where the thought he's at. Miles, what are you playing today? Steam Maidens, but also Chrono Jet. Do you think you'll do better today than compared to your record yesterday? I wasn't here yesterday. You just finished up BCS Anaheim Premium. Tell me how your day went. Man, I could have been playing Yakuza 0. God, yeah. Uh, I lost game one to Night Rose. I went first with Gears. I won game two because my opponent was... I'm not gonna be mean. Game three, I lost to a Riviere. Um, I went first and they uh, did Riviere. Uh, and then game four, I lost to Silverthorn. I went first and they did Silverthorn. Like, oh, I'm sorry, all my losses were like, the, their, their deck did their thing and my, my deck did less of my thing. I had the most eventful, greatest, super hectic anime battles tournament I've ever had in my entire life. And I just really love this game. I'm so excited for next year. What did you do after round four? I dropped. <laughs> All right, Jose. Yeah. This is what? Your first time back at a BCS in how many years? Maybe four or five years. Um, let's see, what did I do? First round, I got grade locked against Angel Feather. Pretty sure I could have won that if I didn't get grade lock. Because who plays Angel Feather? Uh, game two? was against a Chrono Jet player who got grade locked. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> um, game three against Chaos. Chaos did Chaos things. Game four, uh, Nightmare Dolls, which I, I like that game. Nightmare Dolls attack a lot. They're really scary. I don't know if I'm gonna be back. <laughs> my head is my head is fucking pounding. So you, did you play all eight rounds today? Only four, then I dropped. After losing three games, like, what's the point? Oh, that's fair. Yeah, it was definitely the the BCS Anaheims of ever. So I kind of wanted to end this video talking about the summary of the two days in Anaheim, maybe also going over a little bit of Toronto, just kind of seeing how I feel. But real quickly, since we're on Anaheim, uh, day one was kind of whatever for Miles and I, but day two, Jose came with Miles and I and uh, played some premium and it was, I mean, for the most part for me, I had a good time. Uh, couldn't say the same for Miles and Jose, as you can see from their testimonies. I'll just go right into uh, my games. So day one, I played three rounds of V premium and I was kind of just over it. I can't really explain why, just in the mindset that I was, I don't know, I just really wasn't feeling V premium. 
And I was playing Gurgit. It wasn't even like I was playing not a good deck. I was playing probably one of the best decks in the format, but I just didn't really feel like I had the energy to kind of just push through and play all these games. I decided against Standard because I was just kind of already so fulfilled with all the set 13 decks that I didn't want to kind of digress back to set 12 and play the same format again. I was just like over it. I really wanted to play my set 13 decks. So I was like, but you know what? I'll play V Premium again um, and just see how it goes with the new Gurgit promo, kind of testing the new waters with that. I went two and one. So I won round one, lost round two, won round three, and I was just over it. And Miles had already decided to drop and they were doing the Shadowverse event. So they were doing like a multiplayer Shadowverse. It's kind of like Commander for Magic players, but with Shadowverse. So I was like, that sounds interesting. We didn't actually end up doing it, but we did play some games of Shadowverse and play some free fight. And I honestly had more fun in the free fight than I did in the main tournament. So. In the end, I don't regret my decision, and I just really wanted to go and kind of play some games the first day, I think, was the end of it. And day two for premium, I did a lot better. Uh, I went six and two, so uh, round one was kind of unfortunate because it was a double game loss. Uh, we went into time, and it was still turn zero when I lost because my opponent took the entire time to do the turns. I'm not gonna go into details. I don't think it was intentional or malicious in any way. Um, I just genuinely think my opponent took his time and didn't realize he was taking all 10 minutes. I wasn't really that mad about it. I wasn't really trying to go and compete all the way with a Ultima deck, um, but I was like kind of shocked with how well I performed the rest of the day. So I was good from rounds two to round six. Uh, I just kept going with the Ultima kill. Uh, but the last two rounds, unfortunately, with seven and eight, I unfortunately lost to over trigger. You know, it was those situations where you're like, I'm completely taking this game on. I control the situation. I'm going to survive this turn 100%. And then they get the OT and you're like, well, well, okay. But um, that aside, I was actually really comfortable with how I played. And I was really confident in my deck and the way I built it. So I was honestly, I had a really good time uh, day two. And I got to play against Atlas in a BCS event, which was the first time that's ever happened. And um, it was honestly kind of cool. So I had a really good day too. Jose and Miles uh, unfortunately decided to drop out after the third round because they weren't really doing so well in their games. Um, they did some more free fight and kind of played around with some friends. So uh, that was kind of just a quick summary of how both days went. The free fight events were just like, you get a promo pack, which is I'm kind of like, whatever about that. Um, didn't get a chance to try the Shadowverse multiplayer, but the concept seems really good in theory. So I'm actually willing to try that. Besides that, I also picked up some pretty cool merch. So from the little Bushy Road store, got some Keter Sanctuary sleeves, and I also picked up a little Keter Sanctuary box, storage box, which looks really nice. And then I was also able to pick these up from Avalon Accessories. So these, these are some custom Vanguard dice from Avalon Accessories. So they've got the 5K, the 10K, uh, 15k and also comes with a 10k and a crit side uh, and also of course the critical symbol for when you get a crit so I, act, I love dice like this I love being able to flip really easily to add my 5k my 10k I just really like that easy accessibility with dice like this I'm not a really big fan of the flat rolly ones I just want little simple ones that can comfortably compactly fit in my deck boxes so I really excited for these. These are similar to the Porycon ones, but I like the fact that um, these come with the 10K and the crit so that I'm not having to use multiple dice, which is cool. Uh, but besides that, BCS Anaheim was okay. I did go to BCS Toronto. That was more like a little vacation kind of thing for me, but a um, lot different. Um, I feel like people are kind of trying to figure out the history collection meta in V, or sorry, in premium. I feel like a lot of people were trying to figure out what the history collection meta was going to be uh, for the first time. And um, a lot of a lot of Gridor decks that first event. But um, as kind of when time went on, I played against a lot of like different, de like diverse decks in the format. I played against some Shira Nui's, I played against Overlord, I played against Katrina, I played against Great Nature, which was Atlas. I played against a Shira Yuki deck, which was actually kind of cool. So I, I felt more like like there was a lot more genuine and fun creative decks in this BCS. And that's kind of something that I've been missing from going to these events is playing against decks that I usually never see and just kind of just enjoy and have fun in the moment. So, uh, but that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to give a quick little 
end summary. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.